this video, I will show you how to use Excel text functions in relation to date entries. For example, we have here a column for date started. And then our main objective is to display the year data of that date started, the quarter data of that date started, the month name of that date started, and the day name of that date started. To begin with, we can start with cell C3. Let's zoom in. If I need to get the year started of the given date started, you can simply type equal text, open parentheses, and you'll notice that this formula contains two syntax. The first is the value, the second is the format text. Value means the date started given, comma. Format text means the output, All right? If I need to display the year, we can simply type double quotation and four letter wise. Close double quotation and then close parentheses. For the year, you, you have two options. You can type four letter wise to display the last four digits, which is the, the year 1995. Or you can do two letter wise to display the last two digits, which is 95. In the meantime, let me use four letter wise and press enter. And then autofill. Excel will get the year value of the given date started. Next, for the quarter, if I need to get the quarter of the year, we can apply combination of concatenate text function and a date function month. To start with, you can simply type equal month, open parenthesis, get the date started given, close parenthesis, divide it to three. So we have three months per quarter. In order to round up the possible decimal value in the output of this formula, we can simply encapsulate this formula into a round up function with zero decimal places. And lastly, we can add ampersand space, uh, double quote space, and then apply a text value of QTR, right? You can actually add the text before or after this function. Let me move it a little bit. Instead of having it at the last part, let me display that on the first part. All right. So this is the entire formula for quarter. Press enter. And then autofill. We have now the quarter of the year report. Next, I need the month name. For the month name, we can still use text value of date started and four letter M's if you need month name. Four letter M means the full description of the month. So when I press enter, it will display the full name of the month. All right, you have several options for the month name. You can either uh, use four letter M's. You can change that to three letter M's if you need abbreviations. You can change that to two letter M's. If you need the number, number of the month. You can change that to single M to remove all zeros. 
before the number. However, in my case, let me go back to four letter M's. I need the full description of the month name. And lastly, I need the day name. For day name, you can simply type equal text, open parenthesis, select date started, and type four letter D. Four letter Ds will display the full description of the name. All right. Similar to what we have in month name, you can change that to three letter Ds for the abbreviation, two letter Ds for the number, day number, one letter D to get rid of zeros on this output. In the meantime, let me go back to four letter Ds to display the full description of this thing. And now you have it. This is your text functions in Microsoft Excel.